squid. Whoa! Hold oh, on, I just started the episode. I didn't mean to say it. We're a little autismo. So anyway, uh, these guys had figured it out before, but no one ever told me. <laughs> so. Because like you can see it right there. Yeah. So in my head, I was like, oh, that's maybe just something else. To be fair, I probably I have to wait for Dalton to get back real quick so he can read this. I probably should have took the initiative of like clicking on it to figure it out to see if like maybe there was something up with that cupboard. But uh, yeah. I'm just gonna let you read it a little bit, Dalton. That way mm -hmm. you can, you get to see it, what it was. <sighs> All right, so we now have the sealed envelope, and it happens to be a wax stamp, also stamped with the Ushirimiya head's ring, mm -hmm. weirdly enough. Also, it's, uh, something funny that I, I mentioned while I was looking at that guide is uh, they said that you should use the flintlocks on the whores and the sabers on the bone thieves and something else. Hold on, back to the whores. Yeah, so basically the uh, the uh, the guy that with the hat that had the impasse. Huh? So I guess he counts as a whore. So uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like some weird thing that they probably had like earlier in the guy that they classified. Yeah, this makes no sense to me. But all right, it's probably because I was looking at chapter five of a guide. Got yeah. the basement key. Basement key. Anything else we could do? Yeah. yeah. Kill him. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, so we did look things up, but the, like I said before, these guys had like an aha moment of like, oh yeah, we saw that thing there, but we didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. We didn't think that. What the? Or like, nobody mentioned anything about it because, like, all three of us kind of noticed it, but nobody like really wanted this. Like Dalton said, he thought it was a glitch. Mm-hmm. So. And I don't know what I thought. I just didn't bother for it. I was like, that's eh, probably just a piece of the shiny environment. As in, like, maybe it's a light from the, you know, um, outside, maybe. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case. I assume horror's probably going to be used fucker. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Okay, fine. And then I was blasted. You're breaking my balls here. I was like trying to get that fucking thing to aim. Alright, load. Technically, you have plenty of time to reload, actually. Nice. Boom. Boom! You know what? Yeah, maybe I should be using this on them. <laughs> yeah, just stand back and then uh, take your time to aim. Yeah. Okay, we got the green, which I'm sure we probably... Huh. Neat. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh! Get away from me! Yeah, also, the guide also mentioned just not bothering with the servants. I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure if you fuck with them, you probably lose a lot of sanity. Right, maybe? Maybe. I, I didn't want to say anything about losing sanity. They just said to just ignore them. Okay, so anyway, you said that door has to be built later. But here's the thing. We now have green rune, right? So, like, mm -hmm. shouldn't we, in theory, be able to do this now? Should, probably, yeah. My problem is we have dumbass behind us, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to be quick with it. At least we have Recover Green now. They, or, yeah, we should have Recover Green. Mm-hmm. Because, again, the puzzle thing says that green beats blue, so... Yeah. Hold on, game. I'm busy. <laughs> Trying things. Get out of my way. Oh, I remember this part. Uh-oh. Wait. Yeah. I mean, of course there's going to be guys down here anyway, but, like... I remember going back down to the wine cellar... I could have sworn there was, like, a castle place we go to. Maybe not in this chapter, but maybe a later one. Where there's, like, you're going down, like, a bunch of stairs, and there's, like, a big blue guy down there. Damage field. Ooh. I think that's probably going to be used on the Alex thing. Of course. Maybe need that. And then I kill this fucker. There we go. Too bad I lost out on, like, two sanity dudes, but you know mm -hmm. what I can do? Just to show it off, because I'm so cool like that. You gotta recover sanity now. Yeah. Hell yeah, That's, that'll be coming in the handy real hard. Oh yeah, that's gonna save our asses. More flintlock. 
This game's so good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's really fucking cool. Oh, yeah, this is what the handle's for. Because, again, we need... Mm -hmm. I, I know we needed this for somewhere. We would have figured this out anyway, but... Well, now we know for a fact that it is used in the basement anyway, so... Where else would it probably be used for <laughs> besides right now? God, it's making my sanity go down just watching that thing go down, like, take forever to <laughs> fucking drain. Jesus Christ. This is also another me thing, but I get Bioshock vibes from down here because of the wine cellar area in um, Arcadia. No one doesn't remember, but yeah. it's very specific, I know. It's something Yay. only an aut autismo like me would remember. Magic room. All right, there we go. Now we have the ability of damage field. The damage field spell. I'm not exactly sure. I, I think I might have an idea of what it does, but I'm not exactly 100% sure. No autopsy. Yep, so might as well take it. It's cool that he gets the ability to do that. I wonder if later characters get it too. Like, maybe Alex does. To Alex make, might. To make up for... Wait. I think this... No, hold on. Ah, yes. What the fuck? It's like that one Chinese place, all the statues. Mm-hmm. This looks cool, though. It does. The thing is, like, I know they're using a 2D background, but it kind of makes you think like it's a big old painting. Mm-hmm. Like, in-game universe. But I don't think that's the case. Oh, yeah, we have the rune. Then then it just unlocks the door. That's right. We don't need the spell for that to work. We're going to go fight some guys, I'm sure. I could save it real quick. That's probably smart. Bingo. Bingo. Ho, ho, ho. And now we have oh. full protection. Like, we have green protection, blue protection, and red. Mm hmm. Which is great. All this red, blue. You let me type yay. I forgot what these fuckers do, but I remember them being kind of annoyingly hard. Rose whipping out a fucking, like, level 6 magic spell on her ass. Oh, we'd be teleporting. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, somehow I feel like this is I think these suck. blue things might be good for flint locks. Yeah, I think probably. I think that's what uh, the guy was meaning by horrors, is anything that's blue. Shit. It's like those things that pop out. Oh, fuck. He didn't reload both. Dick. He does a lot of damage. Sure does. Which means I should back off. <laughs> yeah, let him do the attack and then pop up whenever he, he leaves. I guess the attack gun. Oh, he just summoned. Oh, no. Yeah, now he's fucking off. Well, fine, okay. Two can fight that game. Damn. I don't know why sometimes it takes more sanity and sometimes it doesn't. I don't get that. I really don't know either. <laughs> I think it was that guy. He, the eyes are green. No, I mean, I know why they take sanity. I'm just saying, like, I don't know why it took so much this time. Is what I'm saying. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I'm going to show you guys a crazy fucking idea. Watch this. If I can do it. Green, enchant, flint lock. Oh, that's probably, that's probably smart. To beat blue, right? Mm-hmm. Because if this dumb fuck is going to block off my bullets, wouldn't green beat blue? So, I mean... Mm-hmm. And he is blue. He sure is. Look at that. It looks like he's doing more damage. I think, yeah, he's, d he's down. Yeah. That's, that was smart. I'm not sure if that actually did work, but it sure looked like it did. Just play Pokemon, you'll figure it out. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like it did, because, like, when I shot him, it looked like the bullets were bounced off from, like, his blue protection field. What do you mean, one? How do you know? What? When did he find that out? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure it's safe back in there with all the servants around? I mean, wow. I mean, I guess he. I guess so. Three months passed, and he. I mean, he's the he's the longest lasting one with the tome so far. Wait a minute. Did he go crazy? 
I mean, he spent three months with it, so probably. Yep. We had a fucking call Cthulhu ending. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Is he in prison or? He's in an asylum. Ah, with the rats. Because he's uh, all straight jacketed up. The thing is, this is completely unsanitary. Mm hmm. But then again, they probably didn't care back then anyway about oh, no. their patients that were. That guy's fucking spittling everywhere, man. Come on. Look at his fucking hair loss, too. Mm hmm. I remember this. I remember that cussing. I just forgot that it was from him. I remember it as in, like, I just now saw it and, like, oh, yeah, it came back to me. Well, that was interesting. I feel like there should have been more to that chapter than what we got. Yeah, I did not have... think that chapter's going to be that short. No, not really. You want to take on the next one, I guess? If you want me to. I like playing this game, too. <laughs> David, I don't know if you want to play at all anytime, but... I'll probably play if we want to do a different one. Just to, you know, get through everything first and then... Yeah. Now that you know where everything's at. I think it's my first time actually doing anything in the mansion. <laughs> Probably. I think I think now we might have to deal with enemies here. I like how the Raffin was enchanted the whole time you were doing someone else's thing. Well, to be fair, she was reading it, so I don't yeah. think it would have taken that long. And plus, it takes a while to de-enchant, but... Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of nice just to have it still... Available just in the off chance. Mm -hmm. Also, what do we do now? I'm looking at stuff. Nope, not that. Because remember, we picked up the unseen ability. Maybe we can go to that wall outside oh, the yeah. hallway. I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at stuff right now, mainly. I think this is. I, I don't remember. Uh, but I think we might need some more cranks. I think we need a crank yeah. that we put in and take out and then move both, maybe. I don't know. I don't think we do anything in here just yet. I think this is like a late game area. We'll see. Also, I don't... Re oh, we should save. Good. Yeah. And if you want, recover, you know, our stuff. Same yeah. Thing. That way Alex stops freaking out every five seconds. <laughs> That way she can stop seeing the hash slinging slasher. But yeah, isn't this cool? We have like fucking different colored like recovery items, different colored just abilities all around to do different things. It's pretty neat. It's basically just a fucking Pokemon game. Yeah. <laughs> Use green to fight blue, blue fights red, and then vice versa. There you go. The door is indeed locked. Sure is. It's locked. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. It's locked. That'd be a fun game to get to. Call of Cthulhu. Mm-hmm. It's also on Xbox, but I don't think it's uh, backwards compatible. No, I don't think it is. I'd have to go get an original Xbox and then go find the goddamn cursed game to do that. Which, you know, maybe there might be... Maybe there might be a copy out there somewhere on Amazon, maybe. Might as well go look. In the off chance. Now, maybe this place might be open finally, or we can finally do something with this, because we came here earlier with Maximilian, but I guess, mm -hmm. I guess not. nothing here. Just a nice, quaint reminder of how to how to functionally play Fire Emblem, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a quaint. You know what's funny? Yeah, is that it's definitely something we upstairs I gotta start doing. I always forget like what the weapon triangle is. And so I know it's... Beats, uh, act, 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 act beats... Lance. Lance and then Lance beat Sword. I'm just saying, like, when I'm playing it, I always kind of forget, like, oh, yeah, it's that. I always think, for some reason, Lance beats Axe, for some reason. I think we need the the field spell for this one, actually. Try I'll a, try it try out. Try a green damage field. You probably would have done green anyway, but just just try it out, because it's, it looks blue. I don't know. It's a lot louder than everything else. Oh, I think it protects us. That's what it looks like, yeah. Fuck. I don't know. Uh... Here, I have another idea. It could be in... Yeah, it could be an invisible one. I don't know. Also, here's Queen. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them have 
you know, whatever. I think we have to get like a dispel. Like it's gotta be something that that, that dispels it, you know. Mm-hmm. You think by now she'd be able to rip it off? Maybe a torch? I don't know. Well, either way, we'll figure out something. I'm sure. I don't think damage field's gonna work. <laughs> Z-Box. Yeah, see, if I look up Call of Cthulhu on Xbox, it's just going to give you fucking the new Call of Cthulhu game. Oh, there's one. Uh, a hundred bucks for a renewed copy. Is it worth a hundred bucks? Hmm. No. But, I mean, you know. Could be. Curse of Darkness uh, for Castlevania is a game I want to get at some point. I don't have... Yeah, you guys probably don't remember this, but yes, there was PS2 Castlevania games. Which, that reminds me. Maybe we might get a collection of those one day. Possibly. Because there's technically more than one. <laughs> so, I mean... I heard somebody bitching about, um... They were bitching about, um, uh, the DS collection. Which is weird to just bitch about. But people bitch about everything. Oh, get this. So, Curse of Darkness on PS2 is 100 bucks, But on Xbox, like original, it's like 50 That's kind of gay. And if you want Landed Innocence, the one I have is like 50 So, there you go. Uh, anyway. The thing of all things they were complaining about the DS collection not having was they didn't have Symphony of the Night. That was like their main complaint. Like, there's no Symphony of the Night on Switch. Uh, yeah, because it was a PS1 game. I mean, it would be nice to see it come to Switch. Yeah, I don't care, but I'm just saying like... It's a PS1 game. It's probably still fucking stuck in the, the poop, you know, exclusive dimension. I don't know what to tell you. When we have to use yeah, yeah, we green. green, but if not green, red, because the text was green. Oh, if it was green. There we go. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I thought we have to, wait. I thought we used the other color to beat the color. No, we I did. Yeah, because I, I, I used oh. blue first, and then I did red or green. I mean, yeah, but when it, like, you talk to it, it says the text of dresser is green. So I thought, oh, maybe we have to use red. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's a new chapter, and a revolver. All right, Dalton, have Driven fun. The darkness. All right, ne next chapter. Remember to save after uh, cutscene. Oh, we won't, we won't be able to. Enemies are gonna be nearby. Oh yeah, probably. Well, I don't know, because usually enemies don't appear until after you get the Tome of Darkness. We got the Tome of Darkness. Oh, in the new new chapter? In the mansion, at least, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, we have to, like, open the page first. Well, yeah, but, like, every time we open a page... Like, we have the Tome. Uh, yeah. But we just got the chapter. Yeah, yeah similar. we haven't entered the new chapter yet. No, I'm saying, like, when we enter the new chapter, we'll save. Yeah, we will. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But he's saying that we might have enemies uh, because of this cutscene, maybe. But we won't because we haven't touched the Tome of Darkness inside the chapter. No, I'm not, no not inside the chapter. I'm talking about inside the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking... God damn it. All right, listen. <laughs> you go to the fucking chapter, okay? Uh -huh. You play Maximilius... F oh, what about... <laughs> uh, okay. You play... Uh, you play Bundle of Sticks, the new character, correct? Uh-huh. When you play Bundle of Sticks, the new character, you save the fucking game. <laughs> yes, we there's will. There's no enemies. We're saying that there's a chance that there might be enemies at the point after the cutscene. How? How? It gave us a revolver. Yeah, so for Alex. Game. Yeah. Yeah, oh. but we're still playing yeah. as Alex. We're oh. still playing as Alex. Okay. Well. We're saying that maybe there'll be enemies as Alex. Is a I was talking now. about when you read the fucking chapter. Yeah, but we weren't. <laughs> Why were you not going to read the chapter? You just have it right now. Where where do you need to go? You need to I'm read the chapter. I'm just man. All right. That's what I'm saying. You read the fucking chapter. You save the fucking game. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Obviously, we're gonna do that. Just but we thought maybe maybe Alex wants to kill some enemies. Who knows? Why? Oh, because she picked the revolver. She picked up a revolver. And okay. The, well, the, we what, remember when we picked up sword? Do we have to fight enemies then? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> remember when we picked up sword with Maximilian? Do we have to fight enemies then? 
Well, not in the same room. Right? Yeah, I mean, just because they haven't done it yet doesn't mean that... that uh, they uh, could Yeah, they couldn't. They could change the pattern. So you guys are literally just, like, nitpicking, like, different possible <laughs> outcomes. It's a possibility. We don't know yet. If I was a game developer, I would pick enemies out there. Just to piss me off? <laughs> no. Because you picked up a gun, and enemies like, would be like, ooh. I, I don't know. I feel like that would be too obvious, wouldn't it? Like, yeah. oh, I pick up weapon, and now I have to fight. I, I don't know. It just seems like it'd be like yeah, We just got a cutscene, too. So it's like, ooh, gun, cutscene, an evil guy. Yeah, yeah. But then again, evil guy shows up usually, I think. Well, not... I just show up more often after we pick up pages, weirdly enough. I don't fucking know. Wait, well, I thought it was after we finished the chapter of those cutscenes. No, maybe it is pages. Oh, well, the yeah, these two were going to the place that the uh, oh, old the Egyptian God. lady or whatever was in, I haven't seen these in, right? fuckers in a long time. I do not remember these guys at all, though. <laughs> these are the Indiana Jones fucks. Even the fucking guy on the right looks like the villain from Indiana Jones. If I showed you that, that fucking scene of the guy getting his face melted off, you'd be like, oh my god. Oh, and I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he yeah. looks just <laughs> like him, doesn't he? Oh, a little bit, yeah. I mean, same skin color. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> like pure pure white looking ass with that hat. Pure bread. Pure bread. Pure bread white. That's a weird looking ass, boxy ass looking gun. I'm just saying. Like, very square looking. <laughs> Looks like a child drew it. I mean, it does its job. I'm not gonna be that dick, but... So, did he... Why, why didn't he wait for, like, us to find the main thing? Instead of just finding the temple before he betrayed us, like wouldn't it make more sense to find the treasure first? Yeah. If he's looking for treasure, well, then again, okay, never mind. Oh God, those guys. They they are uh, gun enemies. You want to shoot them? Mm hmm. Okay, you know what? You guys win. You guys fucking what? You got it. You got what you asked for. Yeah, see, like, enemies as soon as you get here. <laughs> you so can't fucking say. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we probably should have saved when we were Alex. Shit. I think it's fine. We'll be all right. You can't, Dalton, it's not, it's not Resident Evil. You can't do that. I know what you're trying to do. I'm sorry, but you have to reload. No, you have to wait for him to open his... You can't hit him with the wings. Haven't you played Trepang Squared? You should know this. You want to wait for him to open wings and then shoot him. I don't know if shooting tail works or not. It doesn't seem like it. You're, you're kind of running a little too far back there. Playing a little too safe. There you go. Oh, okay, well that's gonna suck. Okay, I can I can move now. Oh, that's great. I hope we have infinite ammo. I mean, if we don't, I think we're kind of fucked. Do we have a sword? Okay, we have a broomstick, or a brush. We have a sword, and we got a yeah. shotgun, too. What is this, Tomb Raider? Oh, I'll set the shotgun for later. You might want to, yeah. Yeah, just play like you played Tomb Raider, and just don't use shotgun right now. Oh, fuck, I kind of want to play Tomb Raider. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, okay, you guys want to talk about having a low IQ? Actually, I don't think it's not to have a low IQ. I think I'm just... I think I'm just stupid. <laughs> um, anyway, uh... Talk about low IQ moments. So, when I was younger... I, I, I've i known about the Midas thing for a while, right? Like, you know, most people know about Midas touch turn gold. Mm -hmm. Well, when I was playing Tomb Raider a long time ago, when I first played Tomb Raider, uh, around the time when I first was playing it, like, actually playing it, uh, there's that part where you grab silver ingots, and there's like a big giant like statue like gold hand thing, and I, I it took me a long fucking time to figure out like oh, you because like I jumped on the hand and turned into gold and died, 
And it took me a long fucking time to realize that you just walk up to the thing, go to your item menu, put thing on, and get gold bar. And that was like one of the most dumbest moments of gaming history I've ever had. Like, I couldn't figure that out. But then again, it also, it was also one of those moments of like, I, I kind of pissed and yelled about it. I'm like, really? You expect like, like what if somebody doesn't know that, what if somebody doesn't know about Midas? Yeah. Then how are you supposed to figure that out? Right? Mm -hmm. Of course, trial and error, I guess. I mean, yeah, you turn gold if you touch it, so you probably think like, well, maybe I probably could do that. I don't know. Okay, let's just admit, I have a low IQ. I know. They also say Let's Players have low IQs, too, so... I guess uh, we're fucked. Uh, I always had low IQ. <laughs> I've never gotten a check, so I don't know if I'm actually low, but I don't think we are. I hope not. My IQ is so bad, I can only say I. <laughs> <laughs> My IQ is so low, I can only say K. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Use that shotgun. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you use it this one time. He's, he's, he's saying a lot. Finally. Fucking. Good lord. And also, smart thinking. Don't use a shotgun on him to finish him off. Alright. Jesus shit. Christ. Can I save? There's enemies around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I did it, yay. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Alright, now I can uh, actually do things, because I did that very poorly. So yeah. this is where that, uh... I saw this is where that uh, earlier Augustus. character was. Yeah, where Augustus Romanian was, right? Well, I mean, him too, but I also the, the girl, uh, the girl with the blow dart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah. here too. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot that uh, Roman guy was... Uh, I said Romanian. <laughs> I forgot that the Roman guy was... In a different, completely different fucking area than this. There's a door to the left. Wait, I, I I remember what to do. Wait, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, huh, Mister, I haven't played this part yet. No, I just, I just remember that was dusty, and I also remember that I had a thing. I'm pretty. I could have sworn you've gotten here before. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see right now. No, yeah, now. I mean, yeah, now I have, but. Don't you like how this game just tests your knowledge on things? It's like, wow. I read I read the text, and I remember that it was there. Okay. I'm not making fun of Dalton for that. I'm just saying, like, my own dumbass didn't realize it was there. <laughs> I'm just saying it's kind of funny that, like, I would probably easily fuck this up. Well, now I can get my sanity back, at the very least. Do we get a full sanity check on this? Like, a full sanity, like... I don't think we do. do I don't we? think so, but uh, we have the. Oh, uh, you're talking about recovering. Yeah, we have the recovery spell for it, so. Yeah. Uh oh, we pissed them off. We're fucked now. You know this game's so cool. Why didn't Dark Souls do this? That's because it's not as cool as this game. They should have. Yeah, we should have. Also. I don't like things to end, but should we just say, f not for this game, I I'm saying like, should we just say fuck Dark Souls 3, or should we keep trying to push uh, We can like, pull it, we can like keep it around as a thing, but like, maybe we'll feel like it then, that, that some, some days more so than other days. Alright. I mean, I can still do it, we just need to get to the cathedral. But I'd say next time we play, let's just say fuck the Abyss Watchers and just go straight to the library place and go fight that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's at least two bosses I think of. Yeah, there's the... And they're easy. The skeletons and the crystal witch. Yep. Well, crystal witch first, and then skellies. Yeah. And trust me, the skellies are stupid. You, I think you've seen them before, right? Yeah. Oh, I saw like a, a list of all the bosses. Oh. Up yeah. to the abyss watcher. The the beacons of the deep are basically just like a bunch of. Like, oh fuck! That's right. God damn. A bunch of like monk guys. Yeah, you have to find the real one. Yeah. And yeah. every time you kill the real one, it transfers to like another guy, and then it's just that all over, every single time. They're pretty piss easy. You know, the thing is, like, I shit on Dark Souls 3 a lot, but honestly, it's not really bad, necessarily. I just don't like it. You might as well just run past him, Dalton. Or shoot him. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him with a pistol. I get my copy of Demon Souls tomorrow. Have you gotten... Okay, wh which ones do you have now? I have... 
in Demon Chronicle Souls remake. Uh, Dark Souls remake. Uh, I have both because the other one comes into one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have remaster of one. Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, Dark Souls. Uh, and then Bloodborne, Nelda's Ring. So not two and three. No, two and three yet. Yeah. And Sekiro. And I don't know Sekiro. Although technically Sekiro doesn't count as that, but I mean, I still kind of consider it part of the marathon. Well, yeah, because yeah, it's me. just for me from Soft Souls games. I think we burn that. Well, the thing is, does Armor Core Six count as that because it's got a hint of? No, I feel like since it's because was the original ones made by FromSoft. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but they're not Souls-like games. Yeah, no, I but then, probably want to count those. But see, that also begs the question. Uh, I think we dusted them actually instead of torch it. Yeah, you're right. My original thought was like, oh, it's it's web, you burn it, like in every other game. Mm-hmm. But this is not every other game. We have a thing that can do that. I have to keep that in mind. Yeah. That's a t- looks like it says tier minus one. I don't know why this just reminded me of uh, Wild Arms for some that reason. That's a weird thing. To re- Mainly because like the archaeologist guy has like the dust, oh. and then all three of the characters you play as have something different that he can do. This reminds me of Trails in the Sky actually because it's very brown. <laughs> <laughs> no one's like, no, it's not. Shut up. It's, it's like the best game ever. Stop. Oh, I see. Well, damage field I think protects us. Yeah, because he's got his own damage field on. We get our, we get new runes, I think, to deal with this shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have to wait for later to deal with this guy. I think that's what we're getting. But anyway, Dalton, I did play like the first fight of Trails today. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah. I, w- I wanted to at least get to the first fight to see what it was like. Mm-hmm. Uh, the combat's really cool. I like it. I genuinely like it. I like the That's idea cool. that if, um, so basically, just to explain to David, it's kind of like that newer Neptunia games where you like move and then you hit. Uh, you know when you're, it's still an RPG, of course. It's still like a, you know a turn-based RPG, but you have like well, here's how it works in Sky technically. So you have a grid like a tactics game that pops up, and you have enemies that are you know farther away or whatever. You can move or you can attack. But the cool thing I like, Dalton, mm-hmm. is you don't have to just hit move to move up to an enemy if they're too far. You could just hit attack and then like pick enemy. Even if they're out of your range, of your movement range, you could still be like, I want to go attack him, and then your character just move to the farthest point to reach uh, before they can get a chance to attack mm-hmm. later when you get closer. So I like that aspect of it. That like I can just either... I don't have to hit move to move. I yeah. can just hit attack. To move as well, mm-hmm. so and the game will just move you automatically to the closest point. The one thing that annoys me right now is what every other fucking RPG does is where like you have a sort of like I wouldn't really say it's like super convoluted, but you already have like a system in place that's like something you're gonna have to take a long time to fucking figure out. Mm-hmm. The orb thing. Yeah, oh yeah, orb mints is a so, is a process. You'll all, you'll just have to get annoying. used to it. It's but, not um, that bad because more often than not, it's just put on the best thing. I'm, I'm it's, just, it's not till later when you'll have to worry about what spell you have. I'm like, just saying it's one of those convoluted things that are, like, super convoluted early. Mm-hmm. I think you'll probably learn it later, but, like, right now it's, like, it's just too much for my brain to handle. It's, co- it's convoluted for a, for a start, but, like, it's not that bad later on. I think we replace... Either we fight this thing or we replace what we just picked up. I think you put it on the thing that you grabbed it from. Buddy boy. Why don't you use the metal one? Well, which one did we pick up? The actually? silver. Oh, okay. Yeah, we probably used. Yeah, we switched with the metal one. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think he just probably forgot. Yeah. Which one he was doing. I just saw. I just saw a bracelet and put one down. Yeah, and then we used the two, So yeah, the metal one. this is classic Indiana Jones bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Like, unironically, this is exactly what you do. And then this way, I think, right? Yeah, that's right. Anyway, yeah, he's not wrong. Trails is pretty cool. Uh, I like the series a lot. Although I will say it, it might take a little bit to get into at first because, like, the beginning cutscene. It's not, like, super long, but it's just It's long, long enough. enough to where, like, if you're if you're just, like, wanting to get into the game, it'll, it will take a bit. Also, Shereza, whatever her name is, very mommy-like. I like that. Oh, yeah, Sherazard? Sherazard, yeah. Everybody just calls her Shara. She's very mommy-like. I like that. Mm-hmm. And I did watch the opening just because I knew you bought it for 20 bucks. I might as well just fucking at least watch the opening. And it was a very, uh... <laughs> You know, 
classic generic. Oh yeah, it's it's old ass <laughs> uh, JRPG, but like <laughs> the character writing's really good. Yeah. Uh, like Joshua and Estelle are, f- are fun characters. Joshua, I thought I was playing Ryan. Rain. What? From Cold Steel. Yeah. <laughs> You're not playing Rain yet. Rain. Yeah. Because I was gonna tell you like how cool Rain is, and I was like, wow, Rain is really cool in this game. He's got like a sister, and everything. it's really cool. I mean, he does have a sister, yes, but. <laughs> I do like Estelle so far. She's... Oh yeah, Estelle's great. Oh, I... We can do that. We can just do that. Do what? When they're about to explode, you just chop their heads off. Oh, okay. Or kill them. And then they'll stop exploding. Oh. Well, I kind of thought that, like, if we just go anywhere near them, we'll get blowy up -y. This game's fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> As I say when I struggled, the, like, the last two <laughs> chapters ago. Like, oh yeah, sure. Torch? Probably, yeah. I'm just looking around at first. Oh. I hear a lot of things. We have good sanity, but I hear a lot of things going on. I hear birds. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I think we should go back to go kill this guy. Yeah, probably. Is well, she going to preemptively put the kukri back on? Because we just picked up our second rune, right? Mm-hmm. And we have the codex, two of them. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Calculated. Speaking I, of codex, I might as well just uh, do this real quick. I could be wrong, but I think one of the one of the sanity things that happens is like they'll chop your head off in in the thing in here. Maybe I don't know. Well, I I know that one of the sanity things is like your head will fall off. Mm -hmm. I've seen that one before. Oh man, if 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 this game could get like a sequel, I would love to see like one where your head falls off and like you just carry it like this with your uh, you have like uh your tendrils. I mean, your your tendons. God, I'm fucking... I'm retarded. <laughs> anyway, you have, like... Like, you're just holding it like this, but, like, you still have, like, a connection to your spine, because I think that's cool. I, I like my stuff to be a bit more grotesque. If you're going to do blood and gore, you might as well go all... You know, go all out. That's what I say. Because the most... spell magic. The most nice. basic thing, which we can... We can probably use that on the window. Mm-hmm. In Alex's mansion. Uh, but yeah, those... enemies. After the enemies, we'll save the game and then we'll use it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which we should probably, probably should save the game soon, too, just in case. Don't have to do it right now, but I think before we go take up Big Guy, we should probably save it. Yeah, I'll leave the room and then save. Oh, okay, there he is. He's just right there. Oh, yeah, he was. Can't save in there because enemies are nearby. Can't save here because enemies are nearby. <laughs> I'd never be too close to him, maybe. I don't know. No, no. that's probably because uh, those Oh yeah. going on. God damn it. I mean, you could go to the other room. Yeah, because this door should still be open. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, I figured. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll just have to heal up. Epic maybe? Gamer. Wait. Right. I'm healed. Okay. We're good. Oh, oh, yeah. Dispel magic. If you want, you can just use shotgun on his ass. I'm pretty sure, most likely, this should work. Boom. That's one of the coolest spells in the game. What were the other spells, you ask? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> but every time I see one, it's like, oh my god, I remember that. I I'm not lying when I said this has been at least a decade plus since I played it. This is back in our old house. Dang, when man. I last played it. As in, uh, before 2012. Because we, we moved out around, I think, like, 2012. <laughs> okay, honestly, don't look like he was reloading. Yeah, that did, yeah, it looked like he got the kill and he's like, oh. <laughs> finally, he's gone. <laughs> I can finally jack off in peace. Jesus Christ. I mean, if blow, jar, if blow dart chick was around, I mean, yeah. She can blow dart. She can blow my dart. Yeah, exactly. Ow. Ouch. I'm just going to heal real quick. This is a ninja guy nas statue. Well, as in like you put things on statue to do things. I like ninja Gaiden. Very cool. <laughs> Boom! And now the door should open. Do we have the other one? Because I think we need that third bracelet for this to work. We might. I don't know, but if I need it, I'll go get it later. Also, I think running gives you. Oh, I guess walking does give uh, your stuff back too. Your magic. Mm-hmm. 
Might have to torch this room to find out where to go. Maybe, but it's it's fine for now. Can you imagine? Actually, that notes uh, that. <laughs> imagine this game was made nowadays. Imagine it'd be nothing but like you walk into a room and it's like, hmm, I bet I put that necklace on here. Like you have like a little you have like a little sidekick with you, like a little boy or a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we can put some necklace here. It's like, dude, I just walked into the fucking room. I, it's just like the Donald and Goofy thing. Mm -hmm. it looks like there's some ingredients. That one's a well. That one's annoying, but like that one's a little less tedious of a. That one doesn't solve your fucking puzzle. Yeah, that's just like. Cause holy shit. You can just avoid his ass. Or shotgun him. Yeah, I'm just gonna shotgun his ass. Alright. Boom. At least he doesn't do too much damage. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, he just summons. Alright. <laughs> just waiting. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, shotgun works great. Two shots and he's down. So we should probably save that for uh, him. Honestly, at this point. Yeah, because yeah, we're probably going to be seeing that guy a lot. He's going to walk! I like how this is... This is probably, like, what? The easiest difficulty to deal with? Because the other one was, what? Sanity and, and then, yeah, higher damage... Or higher health enemies. Mm hmm Like, if guys just randomly explode, and you can just kill them before they explode... Mm hmm This is... This is easy mode. <laughs> I'm playing on fucking easy mode. If anybody was wondering, it's just building up magic. I feel, I feel like I am, because I want to heal. I mean, yeah, whenever you run, you should be playing magic. Alright, that should be good enough heal. I, I know you want a confirmation to make sure, of course, but, like, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure we are. Oh, fuck, it's Foggor. We got the... <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least it's not like Dark Souls 2, where it's like... And then it goes mm -hmm. like... Oh my god, it's so annoying. You're gonna hate that. Enemies. Yeah, they hit you out of it. Oh. <laughs> God, it's such a... The question is, for Dark Souls... It's a fucking combo, goddamn. For Dark Souls 2, is that an intentional game design thing, or is that just accidental, like, oh, we forgot how to make fog gate doors? It feels intentional, because I feel like Dark Souls 2 was trying hard to live off the idea that Dark oh, Souls... Fuck. It was trying to live off the idea that Dark Souls is hard. Because, you know, that was the big thing back then, was like, Dark Souls is like the most brutal game ever. Which, in reality, it's only brutal because you don't know what you're doing. And when you find out what you're doing, it's like, oh, this is not that bad. I mean, if you want further proof, Demon Souls Remake, on the PlayStation, you know, home menu before you select it, has on the bottom, it says, like, the brutal experience is now back and remastered. Brutal. <laughs> when was it ever hard? Uh, not, no. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, it's this strange concept that that Souls is super hard, but in reality, it's just it's Miyazaki hard, meaning that you just have to know what you're doing and then you'll be all right. Uh, of course. That's why we're gonna need to wait. <sighs> ah, God damn it! Are there two buttons? Oh, okay. It's just a t it's timed. Because if there's two buttons, I'm not gonna be able to solve this. <laughs> There's more than one button. I can't figure this shit out, apparently. <laughs> I'm getting Wolverine vibes from this. Like, you take a guy and you put him on a spike. That's a pretty neat game, but never do that as a guide. Or don't do it the way I did it. I think this will kill us. Yes. It will. That's why I'm rushing through it. We have to do this three different times. Dispel, maybe? Mm-hmm. Oof. What is this, Crash Bandicoot? Alright, you might want to heal. Why, okay. Why do these guys show up still? As in, like, these small fry guys. Like, what's the point now? We've already... We're, we're kind of like... I would assume maybe by now, maybe possibly halfway through chapters. I don't know. I mean, they're just a consistent enemy. Uh, no, I know. I know they're just fodder, but like, I, I'm just saying, like, if you wanted to make the game have adaptive difficulty, wouldn't it make more sense to just not have these guys just at all? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we gotta break three. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how it works. I got gotcha. you. I thought we had to do it right there while we're there. I think by the time we cast like three, but our health would be like super low. Wait, does that eat our health when we do that? No, it's just because oh. it's a poison room, so it like drains. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was worried about that too. I'm like, I don't think we have to. So I said it was strong enough to dissolve even like flesh. Right? Mm-hmm. Do we have anything that can actually pick it up yet? You might want to heal as well, just in case. No. Yeah, I, don't think so. I mean, I could put the gold bracelet in here, but I don't think. Actually, yeah, good point. That might not be a bad idea. Maybe. Okay. Nope. Okay. Well, I was thinking maybe it might. We're, burn we're gonna have to, we're gonna be putting something in there later on. Yes. It was just the point. Yes. Real quick, you might want to heal because I think we're low on health now. Okay, we're not that low, but it's not that bad. But I might as well have a chance. Check sanity as well. I think our sanity's fine. All right. And save if need be. Yeah, I might as well. God. All right, I'll go into the other oh, room. We're in, a, we're in a trap room. That's why. J just in case. Mm-hmm. But not gonna lie, we're kind of cleaning through this game. Oh yeah. Uh, somewhat, except for that one accidental mansion issue. This, yeah. You're going backwards. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, 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 <laughs> I want to say... I probably clipped his nose. I want to say, uh... Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. Getting your nose slammed in there. The funny thing is, like, you don't have bone in your nose, but, like, it certainly feels like you do. And that, yeah, it feels like it. Uh, oh, I don't want to think about that. Ah! <laughs> Ow! Fuck. Ooh. It's okay, you already passed the button anyway. He's gone. Yeah, go for that finisher. At least the, the traps stop whenever they hit something. Mm hmm. Because they probably built it in a way they're like, oh yeah, whoever walks through here is going to get slammed and dead by that thing anyway, so. Why waste a, a trap moving? Shit. What's wrong? Oh, I thought I hit, I, I hit that. All right. It's almost like the game just gave us everything in order. I don't feel like there's like a lot of backtracking in this game. Unless you forget something, yeah. Well, yeah, of course, but... Gotcha. We're going to need a gold bracelet now, because like the first one we got was bronze, so we don't need to go back all the way back to the beginning. I don't think, because that first one we put down was the bronze one, if I remember if I properly. Yeah, it was bronze, silver, and now we're in gold. That was rude. But do we have to put multiple bracelets on us? We have to put a bracelet and a, and, a, and a necklace. Oh, so we need a gold necklace yeah. now. Which is probably in this room. You want this game. Yeah, I feel like this game's getting a lot easier. Mm hmm. I mean, we're just used to it now. I think so. Also, this guy's just got really good stuff. Yeah, he does. Oh, it's funny. What? what who was it? I was, was I playing. Uh, Kareem, or whatever his name was. Mm -hmm. The yeah. simp. Yeah. Also, oh, that's the wrong one. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the wrong color. I think it was when I was playing him. Yeah, I, I died on his ass. Mm-hmm. That shit got kind of hard, but I didn't think about the fucking big sword. You yeah. Know, would be that useful. So. That was my fault on that one. Also, that liquid death thing I had was. Nah, it's just, just water. Yeah. It's just flat water. <laughs> it's the liquid death. Well, they call it that because it kills your thirst. Yeah, they're selling water in a can now. <laughs> and then I tried the other one, the carbonated one. Not really that carbonated. Because the thing is, like, uh, I want to try to kick my pop addiction, which is kind of hard. Um... Uh, and so I hear people always say, like, oh, I, I drink uh, carbonated water to help with that. Because, you know, it wasn't just the taste of pop. It's also the feeling of pop I wanted, too. Have we come from this way? I don't think so, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I, I hate when people say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it means, like, I don't know, but we're going to find out somehow. Yeah. This is the poison room. No, we didn't come from this. 
Well, I'll take you the other way to see what that's like. Uh, we have that statue. Yeah, we came from here. Yeah, this is where we came from. Yeah. Okay. Also, isn't it crazy that Death Mark is getting a sequel? Like an actual number two? Oh, it is? I thought we already had another number two. Well, I mean, there was the successor. Mm hmm. And that's what you're talking about. Oh, okay. It's a successor, not a sequel. Yeah, I'm talking about a direct sequel. In Japan. Mm hmm. First in Japan, because of course it is. So, spoiler alert, probably don't marry. Maybe. It'd be cool if she came back. All right, Pinhead, your time is up. You're cool, Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> His arm is like, okay. Might want to aim for the head next time, buddy. It almost feels like we have infinite ammo, but I know we don't. 23 shots left. It's got that Resident Evil, you know, ammo box that I have to pay attention to. That I forget to pay attention to. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, reload. Actually, hold on. Reload, reload. See, I thought about doing that. You. He All right. Wait, he can't load a weapon? If that's not equipped. So I, ha I have to equip it. Oh. Well, hold on. Does reloading in inventory, is it faster than reloading outside of inventory? I don't know. I'll have to check after my inventory gets emptied again. That's a <coughs> quick heal. <coughs> and then blue beats red, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. I mean, hell, the, the order of color on the thing is kind of like the reverse order of how it works. Sort of, anyway. So there's that, technically, that you could use to your advantage. Do we have to run to the other room and press the other button? Fucking probably. <laughs> this feels like the type of game that would do that. There's our neck, ladies. And let me guess. Yep, that's the one we dip. Yep. Well, the thing is, like, well, since how... it's a square, wouldn't it be faster to go the other way? I think he's trying to go back to the other one to press the button. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, he's. I think he's trying to see what that does. We should have saved. I mean, if you think you can make it, just fine. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, we should probably save soon. Yeah, I'll save in this room. I say press the button first and then. Because I don't know if we have. To... Are, are there four buttons? Uh, I don't think so, because the other room didn't. Uh, There's only those two rooms that had that. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just go back to the acid room, because it looked like they didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Either we were too late or. I think, uh, I think it was mostly just that we were too late. Or maybe that doesn't do anything. But... I think we we can we can ignore those buttons for now until we have to until we actually need them. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go back to the acid room. The annoying part is avoiding all these damn trap buttons. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, you can kind of see them pretty e relatively easily, but there's some that are kind of hard. And then the, here's the the, oh. the statue that we'll use. Yeah. And the acid was like two rooms back. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, the acid's because he uh, stepped on a trap. I mean the... Oh, the acid. I was thinking poison. Acid's in this room. Here's another button. Yeah, see, I, I figured there'd be, like, at least four buttons to press. Which means we're probably going to have to go through multiple things. All right, I wonder if we hit use first and then he... Yeah. Did. As in, like, yeah. Yes. Oh, we put it in, and then... Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And then it all rolled the thing. 
Boom, gold. Cool. You could press the button here just to see if it'll work. If, like, we still have time to press buttons. And then, you know, just fuck that other room, I guess. Just... I'm just gonna go put the thing on. Yeah, we're already here. If I need to press those buttons later, I will. Yeah. I was just curious to see if, like, maybe three buttons was enough, but I'm guessing most likely there's probably four. It's gonna be annoying having to run through each room, though. And I wonder if, like, there's a certain time limit on each one. Although I don't feel like they would do that, but you never know. Oh, that's who called on the phone. By the eternal darkness. Mm -hmm. He's getting kind of creepy. He is. Is this the forbidden stairs? I don't think so. Why does he look so exhausted? I don't know. Did you run out of stamina? Is he spooked? Maybe he just spooked, I guess. Oh, they're going to oh, be one of those guys. I think this is the forbidden stairs I was thinking of. Because there's a big guy. Mm -hmm. There's a relatively... Not only spiral stairs, but... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's, there's guys here. I could have sworn the thing I'm thinking of is like more bluish gray. Like a castle. This is a temple. And now I'll creatively equip my shot gun. There might be more guys. From what I saw, I only saw these two and then the guy here, the big guy. Alright. Yeah, they're... I feel like these guys are kind of climbing slow too, but maybe that's just a normal thing. Uh, boom. Shit, I missed. There we go. Then you can reload from inventory and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, you could probably start mix anywhere. I think it'll... It didn't do anything? It didn't do anything. What the fuck? You have to have, like, no ammo in it for that to work? I guess, maybe. I don't know. Like, I want to see what happens. Like, I want to see if it skips a reload. But I don't want to waste three bullets just to find out. You know? Mm-hmm. That would suck. That'd be very silly if we did that. We're just going down and down. Going down, down, down. To the ends of the ocean. Ow. Okay, that's not fair. Okay, I kind of just have to let this one go, because, like, that, the plate's that big. Oh, yeah. A dick move. Shit. Yeah, that's fine. And again, at least the traps stop when they hit you. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, more cobwebs. More webs to dust off. I can't wait. So how much stuff did you record today? I know you said Paper Mario. Two people more finished chapter four. And then Castlevania. Uh, I think three Castlevanias. And then the one Liza P? Yes. You think about just saying fuck Liza P? I'm still gonna finish it, but I'm just gonna run through the game, try to beat all the bosses. Oh, like offline run? No, I'm still gonna like record it. But I'm not, like, if I fight a boss, I'm, like, I'm not gonna attempt to attempt it. Uh, summon. Yeah, at this point, might as well. Save yourself the trouble. I mean, they're there to be used, I mean. Mm-hmm. No, hold on, I have an idea. Oh, good point. I think I have to click the button. No? That's weird. Hmm. Maybe they assign themselves, or maybe you go to a spell list and they assign it from there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it recover already? Oh, no, it's not. 
going on down. Enchant item is on top. Alright, now we have a quick health one. Of course, the only problem is you can only pick one of the colors. Mm hmm. So. Which so I mean, the, the, the ones that we'll use the most often will just be. Right. Used, yeah. Hmm. I, I I assume there's probably nothing to do with this. Yeah, it's probably just a better way to look at all of it. Yeah. So I came from this way. Yeah. So I think I just go here now. Wouldn't that be pretty freaky if you went to a temple and you saw like a uh, <coughs> what do they call them again? Those like a mural, mm -hmm. but you saw like this really weird-looking god thing on it that like no one's ever, you know, had textbooks about or whatever. It'd be pretty freaky, wouldn't it? Be like, oh my god, this is like the first time I ever discovered this type of god, and it's like, like I said, one that's never been heard of ever. At that point, I'd just be like, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, you little <laughs> bitch. That's why I will never probably explore a temple in my life, because I don't want to get cursed. <laughs> that is true. Fuck that noise. Look, I mean, you know, some things, you know, might not necessarily be real, but I'm not taking that chance. You're wasting a lot of time trying to kill him. Oh, the poison cloud went down. What the fuck? That's weird. Oh, his head, his head didn't even go away. I thought I did, because he didn't stop. Oh, he regenerates. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw that just at the last second. It'd be even more creepy if it, like if it said like you know the name of the god in English. And it's like it's Uliath or whatever. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I want to kill that guy before he gets back. Yeah, I'm not like as cool as it would be to go through a temple or an ancient pyramid or whatever. I'd be pretty fucking baller. But the moment that I see a coffin, it's like, yeah, I shouldn't be here. Because <laughs> I just disturbed, you know, some pharaoh's peace or whatever, and it's like, I'm fucked now. That's an ancient, that's an ancient curse. An ancient sonichu curse I'm going to get hit with. <laughs> Not one from that, uh, from black and white, the coffin. Yeah. Yeah, coffin. Kind of <laughs> Wait, did I get it wrong? Yeah, it's coffin. Uh, Grigas, yeah. Yeah. Coffagiris? Coffagiris. Coffagiris. Yeah. Grigas. I didn't actually mean to say, like, the quote unquote bad, but that's just what I thought it was spelled. That's, like. that's what I was just gonna say. Coffagiris or Coffagiris. I could have sworn that's what it was. <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. Let's just say that Pokemon one would call someone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucking Cuffagris. Cuffagris. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when I was uh, reading my VN the other day, um, Krause said he sniggered. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, what did you call me? Because snigger is a word that means not what people probably think it means. Not what Twitter users probably think it means. It's like a type of laugh, I think, right? Um, yeah. Ow. Which is kind of a weird way to... Why do we have, like, so many different terms for, like, a type of laugh? Like, he chuckled. He... He chortled. He chortled. Yeah, that's one of them. That was actually kind of funny. <laughs> he sniggered. So, like, if I wanted to... <laughs> okay, maybe I probably shouldn't. <laughs> if I wanted to say that word... I can say that. I was going to say, if I was going to Detroit, <laughs> and there was a couple of, you know, let's just say... <laughs> yeah, I know this is going. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say I was at a comedy club in Detroit. And there's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man, what did you fucking say? I went to a geek club. There's a lot of Cofagris. A lot of Cofagris is here. 
Oh, I just got a Clefagris. Well, there's like Augustine there. Yes. Yeah, kind of creepy. But like, it's not spelled like that, right? Like it's Clefag. Clefag. Yeah, it's Clefagrigus. That's that's Clefagrigus. Okay, that's such a weird name. Such a hard. It's a really cool Pokemon, though. I like him. And then and uh, Galar, they introduced Runagrigus. Runagrigus. Yeah, which is a special evolution that you, you can get in Galar. By going to a certain spot and... You have to make sure you take a certain amount of damage, too. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Right. It's a really weird, dumb evolution style. Because hmm. uh, Galar liked doing those. I know, uh, Galar was... Sword and Shield. Okay. Not gonna lie, I, I guess Shield was pretty cool back then. The Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah, it's from Gen 6. Oh, that was from Gen 6, not Sword and Shield. Yep. Yeah, you're or right. Aegis Slash? Yeah, Age I guess Slash is yeah. from Gen 6, yeah. Aegis yeah, Slash and then the Shield. Uh, did you just fucking see that juke I just did? God damn. Yeah. See, this, this game's not that hard to play. Well, when shield. it's. Yeah, because there was two of them, right? Am I talking about the right guy? Because I, I could have sworn there was like one that's like a sword and one that's a shield. Or were they. Both a sword and shield. Well, yeah, he's uh, inside the yeah. shield, and then like he can go into attack form where he yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, holds I the shield. Thought there was a different Pokemon. But anyway, like, yes, Dalton, you're playing really well. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying, like, when it comes to normal zombies, um, not only does it feel good, but like, it does. I'm not trying to like say that you, you know, of course you you suck. I'm just saying, like, when it comes to it, the game is relatively pretty easy to play when you have like just the basic bastards to deal with. And not just the big fucking dudes and like a whole room of, you know, shit. Yeah, just mm -hmm. shitty enemy types oh, yeah. <laughs> running around with that fucking, you know, shielded up lizard dude. That guy's annoying. Which I now can do summon trapper. Which I could have sworn, and I'm 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 wrong. I know that for now. Well, okay, I'm not exactly 100 percent wrong because like I'm pretty sure shooting the. The, you know, shield guy is probably the smart thing to do. Mm hmm But I said earlier, like, you want to shoot him because he flies, and I forgot that he doesn't fly. I thought he did, but he does not. And we're going crazy. Slightly. But we're, we'll be all right. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. You know, I kind of forgot about the whole sanity thing in this game. I can just like, go. I, I got so used to having decent sanity. I can recover the rest of it real quick. I, I noticed something. Dalton is good at keeping this fucking sanity. I'm not. <laughs> My shit gets eaten up when I play. And here's a. Uh, there's Mandarok. Which I think he's a very benign god. I want to say. I don't think he really does much. Just checking to see if the. Yeah, the mic works. Okay, good. I mean, I assume so. Do we really have to fight both of these? Oh god damn it! I mean, we we found out last time. Ooh, never mind. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> he got blown away like a cartoon he did. character. <laughs> damn you! Me, the man, our protector does. Well, hey, at least we know what purple does. Mm-hmm. It's uh, devastating to him. Yeah, see what I meant by he's a benign god? Mm-hmm. So I remember him being a very not, like, terrible... Yeah, he's pretty chill. Well, the thing is, like, think about it this way. It's the same thing with Bloodborne. Remember Abritus? Like, I don't think she was a terrible mm -hmm. god. She just got, unfortunately, stuck with getting her blood taken or whatever, right? I think. Like, all her uh, her siblings left. They left her there in that, that cave. And then uh, the dumbasses... We're like, hey, you know what? Or Ludwig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ludwig and his dumbasses, the healing church or whatever, like, let's take blood from the gods and then use that said blood to, like, heal ourselves. And that's like, oh, yeah, well, that was a smart idea. Mm -hmm. Also, I've noticed that Lindsay has really good stamina. Yeah, he fucking does. Which is actually kind of a cool concept to think about. Like, each character kind of has, like, a different sort of RPG mechanic to them, mm -hmm. you know? That thing's alive. Oh, wait, that's... Yeah, that's the original girl. Damn. 
So she's simping for us. Because she kept sending super chats for like a hundred mm -hmm. years. <laughs> trying to get her attention. Oh yeah, I also saw another person. I saw Watame now. What she looks like. Saw so what? Watame. Oh yeah, yeah. These fucking videos keep popping up and I keep mm -hmm. clicking them like a dumbass without learning my mistakes. I don't like... I don't like care anymore, really, but... Boom, there she goes. What is this Scooby-Doo-ass mystery shit? Right, zoinks. This girl just gave me her heart. Oh, we're done? I think that's the end of the chapter. So oh, I'm he's guessing, in the mansion now. I'm guessing the buttons for... For, um... Maybe like a secret thing? Mm-hmm. Wow, look at that book that's clearly off-colored from all the other books. Wow. I'm gonna go to the library to find that book and open it and get the heart and then... I don't know what happens next. I think we're getting close to the end now. <laughs> zoinks! 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 I think about that guy. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the end. Yeah, I, oh, mean, I would assume so. I think when the planets align is when we go to that... that the, yeah, the astrology something. thing. Yeah, let me go check what time we're at. It's green. It is real green. Well, like an hour and 11. So we can do like another 20-ish. We can at least get the next chapter. Yeah, we can, we can solve the puzzle of this next crime. Mm -hmm. We still have the, uh, reveal green on. Did we actually use that last time? Yeah, uh, that's how I found so. the chapter. Oh. It was in the dresser, and then... Oh. The huge debate of monster spawning. And should saving. We, I'd say we should save now, too. There are monsters nearby? There might be. <laughs> My question is, what the fuck is... Like, okay, so if that thing was behind the book the whole time, couldn't we have just... Went to that book at any point in time and then, like, touched the book? Probably. Oh, did you see that? I did see that. David, did you see that? Yeah, I saw something move. Yeah, you saw a book fly across. Yeah. But wait, our sanity's not that low, right? Mm-hmm. So, why did it move? Oh, damn. You can hear the footsteps creeping up slowly. Yeah, it's creepy. That's pretty cool, though. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, what horror games need to do more is just, you know, have random psychological things fuck with you. Not just jump scares. Like, the tension of a jump scare is there, but, like, there's always a payoff. That book just flew by. Yeah, it did. But I think we're going... Check our sanity real quick. That yeah, will explain that, it. it's, that's why. I figured. You know, I have another idea. You're going to sign that one now, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, that now, works. why is sanity? Why? Why? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I thought he was going to say, because I picked it, or... It just makes sense to have it out of the way. No, it does. That's and so boom, cool. never full. I bet that feels nice. I probably, it probably does feel nice to get all that injected into you. No, I mean, you touching the button and just having it just... That, too, yeah. Yeah. We keep coming into here. I know. It's just a habit. Alright, bye bye. The question is now what? Go to the. Uh, we just spell magic now. Yeah. I forgot that was there. We can get a rune or something, whatever is there. There's a guy. Were, were, were these bloodstains here before? Yep. Yeah. They've always been here? Yep, yep. Oh, we can summon trappers. Mm hmm. Why would we ever. Oh, we need that for a puzzle later, I'm pretty sure. Was it green for blue or was it red for blue? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. RGB. Whoa. Actually, yeah. Red, green, green, blue. Yeah, because yeah. red does beat green. Yeah, just remember, Dalton. RGB. Yeah. That. Holy shit. This game came out before RGB was a thing. 
<laughs> <laughs> also, this is where we fight the final boss, I think. I believe. At least it looks familiar. I remember that checkered ass fucking pattern, so. God, I wanna see I wanna like get to that point where like we're getting like late game and see like the final boss shit. See if we can actually beat the fucker, you know? Mm-hmm. Which now that I think about it, we should probably use the opposite color to fight it. Yeah. I think we probably had to. Okay, so it's not exactly as jellyfish as I thought it was, but... Uh, eh. I mean, this is going off my, my what? My fucking 10-year-old brain, so... 12-year-old? 13-year-old, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's, that's our Godby fight. Nice. Yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't tell me we're actually at, like, the final game. I don't think... No, the game's gonna be longer than that, right? Like, we can't just be that good. It could be one of those cases of, like, oh, it has, like, huge replay value. Like, you're just gonna go through all three phases. I, I can go into the next chapter and then save yeah, there. Yeah, let's let's see. Do we have the paper? We do. I just got it. Oh, okay. Heresy. I want to see, like, who we get next. God, I want, I want to just... Oh. Oh, oof, this is not gonna be fun. I remember him now. I remember, uh, hating playing him. I think uh, he's he's the castle one, I think, too. Mm -hmm. I think this is where the stairs are that I kept talking about. Like, that I remember faintly. And I think there's, like, a, a, a wall on the bottom of the stairs that we have to, like, dispel, mm -hmm. maybe. There's only one way to find out. We either do it next time. Well, I mean, we're going to probably either end up mm -hmm. video soon. We either do it next time we record, or we do another recording today. And then find out that way. If everybody's up for it, of course. Yeah. And are we going back yeah. farther, farther from the last one? Because we were in the 1900s <laughs> for the Egyptian guy. I'll, I'll play, Egyptian, I'll play this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'll, I'll do this one. Also, those guys look very familiar, don't they? Mm-hmm. Almost like those guys from that uh, Robin Hood guy that we played a long time ago. Yeah. And they also look a lot more fucked. Like, come on, if that doesn't scream evil, then I don't know what does. <laughs> Pure white face, milky ass eyes. Red robe. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, I'm thinking of a very specific group, but, you know. Because <laughs> usually in that very specific group, red is just like the leader. Co leader color. Yeah. White pointed hats. Yeah, well, at least says it's not pointed, but... I it's like, nah, nah, but wait. <laughs> Wasn't there somebody that did that? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I remember um, South Park did a joke like that, where Cartman dressed up as a ghost for Halloween. Oh, yeah. And then Shep was like, hello, children, how are you? He was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then Cartman's like, sweet, my, my ghost costume scared Chef. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this. We'll see you guys next time we do Paul Arthur. Paul Arthur. Paul Atreides. Blart Mart Carp. <laughs> Paul Blurt, Mark, Car I'm having like a stroke just trying to speak today. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I think this might be what I was thinking of with the castle shit, but I don't know. I mean, it's close enough. So, yeah, see y'all then.